This is how to find ordinary annuity two ways, one with your formula and one with your financial calculator. And if you don't have one of these, all you have to do on your TI-84 Plus or any Texas Instruments calculator is press apps, one, enter, and it'll be the same, so don't worry. Okay, so for this example, we have a very fun um, thing that we're saving up for. We're saving up to buy a Tiger in four years, so imagine you're a freshman, by the time you graduate, you want that Tiger. Um, so you're gonna save $5,000 a year starting one year from today. So this is your clue. This is how you know it's ordinary annuity. It's one year from today. We, t we are told that the bank that we're putting the money into is giving us a 6% interest rate. That's pretty high. Um, how much are we gonna have in four years? Can we buy that tiger? Let's, let's make this example fun. Let's just say the tiger is uh, $21,000. Will we get that much back? Let's see. We're gonna use a formula and our calculator, as I said. Um, let's do the calculator first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using these top keys. So we're told four, this is gonna be our N. So it's gonna be four N. Then for our I, we're told it's 6%, so six to I. Our payment's $5,000. And we're gonna make that negative because it's going out and we want our future value to be positive. So that's gonna go into payments. Um, where is it? I'm just gonna put zero for present value because I can't remember if I cleared it, but you don't need to put anything. And then our future value, nice, we can get the tiger. Our future value is gonna be $21,873.08. Okay, this is the formula you can use it takes a little more time, so I prefer the calculator, but just so you know that you can use it. It's going to be um, our, how much, our payments, so how much we're saving every year. So it's going to be $5,000. And then inside this parenthesis, we're going to go 1 plus um, this into a decimal, so 0.06, 1 plus point. Oh, 06, and then we're going to take our N. Where is it? N. So to the fourth, then we're going to subtract one and then divide it by 0.06 again. That should give you the same answer. I won't make you all sit through the math, but if you want to use the formula, that's how you would do it. There you go ordinary annuity.